and they thought it was dictation, so one of the, uh, his plays is called As You Like It, and the title has nothing to do with the play. So that's how the Bilderberg came by their name. Now, they had been meeting for half a century, the moneyed class had been meeting, but they decided they have to meet systematically every year, uh, well planned in advance, in, uh, in addition to maybe uh, other smaller meetings throughout the year. Sure this is the right turn, Jim? No. Let's see if we can start. Let's see if we can... This is the global government. They are setting the world agenda. Inside right now, they're deciding on whether or not there will be a war with Iran. They're deciding whether or not taxes will increase, whether oil prices will be suppressed or increased. There are, uh, there's much more on the agenda that we'll be finding out in the fullness of time. But those are three items that are heavy on their list this year. This is Jim Tucker, ladies and gentlemen. 27 years covering these crooks. Tucker, pleasure to meet you. The media said he was crazy and didn't exist. Now we forced him. 120 of the world's most powerful men, heads of state from Europe, high officials of the United States government, Treasury, White House, state, defense. They're setting the world agenda now. The reason they want secrecy is because they're doing evil. Evil is done under the cover of darkness. Good works are done in the sunshine. Hi, how you doing? Good. Can you get off the property, please? Well, well, property. Jim, Jim has some questions for you. I need you to move off the property, please. Okay. Private well, property. Sure. Uh, it's a public sidewalk. Right? Oh, yeah, we are cooperating. Thank you. Right onto the sidewalk. Yeah, there's no implication yeah. that we aren't uh, cooperating. Right onto the sidewalk. Can okay. you stay there, please? Sure, yeah, thank you. Uh, Jim, Jim has some questions for you. Again, I need you to stay right on the sidewalk. Yeah. Thank you very much. We actually checked with the city. The property line's actually right here. Also, that's good. Property line's actually right here. We are on the verge of a global transformation. All we need is the right major crisis, and the nations will accept the new world order. David Rockefeller. We saw David Rockefeller and uh, the car in black at the, uh, beyond the hotel, and they have no, had no bodyguards. One of my friends shouted, hey, Rockefeller, and he turned back, uh, and he uh, was uh, afraid. <laughs> My name is Rene. I'm from uh, Manitoba. I drove about 26 hours to get here uh, just to show my, uh, that I'm against the Bilderbergers, just to fight for my freedoms, fight for my rights, uh, make sure that my children can grow up uh, in a free country. My name is Daniel Estulin and uh, I've been uh, doing this for the last 15 years. Uh, I'm from Canada. I'm very proud of my country because, uh, as you can see, there are a lot of people covering the Bilderberg Conference. Last year, uh, it took me 14 and a half hours to get to uh, Munich. I was pulled off the plane in Milan. I was pulled off the plane in Munich. They interrogated me four hours in both places. I was able to call a friend, a journalist in, uh, in Rome, as a result of his presence and others calling the Foreign Ministry Department in Italy. They backed off and they let me go. They basically told me that they will keeping an eye on me 24 hours of the day. Uh, the little hotel where we were staying at, Jim and I, out of the 20 rooms, six were occupied, three by the CIA and three by the uh, German Secret Service. Uh, that's how serious these people are and that's how afraid they are of actually what we may be able to reveal and what we actually do reveal publicly about the Bilderberger intents. Daniel Estelin has covered the Bilderberg meetings in Europe and North America for more than 15 years. His book, Club Bilderberg, has been translated into more than 20 languages and is a global bestseller. Estelin has photographed many past Bilderberg meetings. Rockefeller frontman Henry Kissinger is always a key participant. Here you see the president of the CFR, Richard N. Haas, followed by vice chairman of Rothschild Europe, Franco Barnaby, who is speaking with Henry Kravitz. And behind them is Richard Holbrook, former U.S. ambassador to the United Nations. The head of Daimler Chrysler, Jürgen Erich Shrimp, arrives by helicopter. Here, the owner of the Washington Post, Donald Graham, escorts Indra Nui, the head of PepsiCo. 
Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands, whose father, Prince Bernhard, founded Bilderberg, is a leading figure in the group. Of course, globalist kingpin David Rockefeller, seen here with his bodyguard, James Ford, always attends. The then newly appointed World Bank Chief Paul Wolfowitz is photographed at Bilderberg 2005. It has been reported that Wolfowitz had attended previous meetings while still the Deputy Secretary of Defense, a violation of the Logan Act. Under the Logan Act, it is a felony offense for any member of the federal or state government to meet with members of a foreign government without the express authority and authorization of the President or Congress. Put simply, it is illegal for members of the government to meet secretly behind closed doors with foreign power brokers due to the problems of corruption and espionage that it breeds. For this reason, many prominent politicians attend, but their names do not appear on the official list. Despite the Logan Act, the governor of New York's name, George Pataki, does appear on the list, and we were able to catch the governor on tape walking with David Rockefeller at Brook Street. Multiple staff members inside Brook Street reported to us that Hillary Clinton attended for half a day. Several armored limos with diplomatic plates did arrive with police escorts and offloaded their passengers in the underground parking garage out of the sight of the press. Former World Bank President James Wolftonson sardonically stared at our cameras. They're upset about the fact that they're being exposed. Well, I'm sure they are. I mean, look at the tinted windows. Uh, they, they don't want to be seen. They don't want even anybody to know they're here. So I'm sure they're ticked, you know, and that's why we're here to try to expose them. Do you think that they were angry that they were on the front page of the local paper today? You think they're in there reading it right now, Jim? Uh, yes, I don't think they're happy about it. They prefer nothing at all, no publicity. They pr prefer absolute secrecy. Yeah, you better look away. We're not your slaves. Did you get a list of the attendees and everything? Or not that uh, no, I've asked for one under a slight variation of my name, and I don't know if I'll get it or not. Also, it could happen today. For the last three years, I get back to the hotel. And there's a copy there waiting for you. Well, you know, somebody who does copy, not identify yeah, himself. I mean, you. I really, I'm not just not revealing the source. I don't know the source myself. Uh, but a fact, because they want the Bilderberg letterhead on it, and it makes a nice memento. Perfect. Alex? Yeah. That's Chalabi, eh? You think Chalabi? No, 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 I don't think. I know. It looked like Chalabi, and it was a fat, fat guy. Yeah. That was Ahmed Chalabi? Yeah. Oh, my God. Then they're really going to attack Iran. Uh, over the last couple of years, they've been reeling with the amount of leakage that they've been experiencing, so it's getting harder and harder. But again, it will never get too hard for us because of the sources that we have inside are top notch sources. People who are actually working for them, the Secret Service, the second layer. Uh, people in the Bilderbergers, uh, the 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 uh, uh, the clerks, the uh, the administrative office, they are there. They, you know, they are our eyes and ears. And uh, every time there's something out, we always get the information. That's uh, Francisco Pinto Vasamal. I think that's the Queen. You see her? Yes. Oh my sure. God. Let me apologize. What usually happens is uh, the Secret Service guys who are protecting the uh, the Bilderberg delegates, uh, the staff, the cooks, the chefs, when they actually get to see and to hear what some of these uh, nasty people are talking about, uh, they are the first ones to look for us and the first ones to make sure that we get the information uh, from the meeting. We, uh, again, we're very rigorous with information that does come out. 
we double, triple, and quadruple the uh, confirmed sources, make sure that all the information checks 